my friends, it is great to be with you again today. Today our Bible story comes from Matthew 18 verses 1 through 5. Not very many, but let me tell you, those few verses pack a punch. So today Jesus is hanging out with his disciples and um, they're getting ready to take their journey to Jerusalem. They're taking, getting ready to go through Palm Sunday, through Good Friday and Easter. Although at this point, of course, no one but Jesus knows that. So as they're hanging out together, the disciples ask an interesting question of Jesus. They say, Jesus, who will be greatest in the kingdom of heaven? Kind of a weird question, I have to say. I'm not sure they understand everything. I'm not sure any of us do. But the important thing here is that all of a sudden, the disciples are realizing, yes, that there is a kingdom of heaven. They have realized that, yes, Jesus is the Son of God, remember that one, and yes, Jesus is the Savior of the world, and today they understand that, yes, there is a kingdom of God. So Jesus answers them, and I have to say, it's probably not what they expected. I'm sure the disciples were thinking, the kings of the world, they're the ones who will be the greatest in the kingdom of heaven. But Jesus answers the question in an interesting way. He says, whoever will humble themselves like a child will be the greatest in heaven. Humble themselves like a child, like you all. Isn't that an amazing statement? But what does that mean? Well, Jesus is saying that you kids, you probably have parents in your life, or maybe um, an aunt or an uncle or a grandfather and grandmother who take care of you. When you're a child, you have people who care for you. They provide your food, they provide your clothing and a place to stay. And do they do that because you've earned it? Do you get a job and pay them money for all those things? No, no. They do it because they love you. And just like your parents love you, God in heaven does, loves us all. In fact, God provides for us our food, our clothing. He provides shelter. And most importantly, he has provided to us Jesus, the Savior of the world. Like I've said before, in John 3, 16, it tells us, For God so loved the world, that's all of us, that he gave his one and only Son, Jesus, that whoever believes in him will have eternal life, will have the kingdom of heaven. So God loves us so very much that he gives us all of these things. Let's thank our amazing God for providing Jesus for us. Dear Jesus, thank you so much for this day. Thank you for all of the things that you provide for us daily. And thank you most of all for providing Jesus our savior so that we too may join in the kingdom of heaven. In your name we pray, amen. We'll see you tomorrow and we'll carry on towards Easter. Y'all have a great day.